we're going to get uh, nitro aldol reaction going here. So I stole something from my book here. Formation of nitro aldol, nitro alkanes and the nitro aldol, the Henri reaction. And you could copy the shadow box for your mechanism, right? Aldol condensation product being right here, ACP. So what happens? You have to have a nitro alkane. Nitro aldols from nitro alkanes. How do you make a nitro alkane? Under very severe conditions. That's what I'm saying. I mentioned earlier in class that if you treat uh, hydrocarbons like ethane with heat, like in excess of a couple hundred degrees Celsius, they catch fire. So if you want to heat it to 300 and not have it catch fire, you need to exclude oxygen. Use a sealed container that's, uh, that's empty. Then you inject your ethane in there. And then you inject nitric acid. And then you heat the sucker up to 300 degrees Celsius. And you're going to get a little nitroethane. That's all you need to know. So when we need to make a nitroalkane, we're just going to copy what we see here, right? HNO3, H2SO, uh, sorry, HNO3, 300 degrees Celsius. Just copy. Uh, every alkane is a little different, so why don't you just put the big old triangle there so you don't have to memorize the number either, okay? And then, I didn't tell you, but in the text of the book, it says that this H here, and you do remember what I said about the inductive effect of a nitro group, right? It's more inductive than a fluorine atom. Plus, it can resonate after we've taken the H off. It's got both. I'll prove it. So that H has a pKa of 10, and I hope you're getting tired of all the tens that you're adding to the original pKa table. There's a lot. <laughs> this is another one. And as I hinted at, we're about to make this. If you choose the right base, which is real easy, I need a base that goes to an acid with a pKa of above 10. Well, what acid has a pKa of 16? What's water's conjugate base? Because it's a perfect candidate here, and it's cheap. OH minus. OH minus is going to get you that nitro aldol. And, and we got to add the green piece. Sadly, I drew my nitro alkane in green here. I was going to show you why. Well, right away, we know that the plus charge stabilizes the adjacent minus charge, right? I think we called that a Zwitter ion in the back in the past. Zwitter, Heinz zwei, number two in German. It's got three. We call it a Twitter ion. Ha, <laughs> you like that Twitter ion. Okay. Uh, and it can resonate. So inductive effect of N plus. Uh, resonance effect here's the resonance effect All right Twitter and up there uh, lowers lowers pKa of conjugate pKa of acid down to 10. And notice when I'm explaining why acids are strong, I'm always talking about the conjugate base. This is the conjugate base. You always need to talk to me about the stability of the conjugate base when you're talking about acid strength. Anyway, we got that. Uh, we got OH minus. Step two, we're going to add the electrophile that can do the aldol. Here it is. There's the green piece. And we're going to do a mechanism shortly. 
And um, I'm going to need a solvent. H-O-R. I'll put this in purple or black. When we do the mechanism, I'm just trying to remind you that solvent there is also a proton source. And let's do that mechanism while we're here. OH minus has a lone pair. That's three if you're counting. Grabs the H and makes the uh, conjugate base of the nitroalkane. That's a new nucleophile attacks the aldehyde. And you get purple. Nice new bond here. O minus aldol reaction. Very important, right? And what's going to take us home to our final product? What chemical is going to help us with that? Yeah, the alcohol, H O R. There you go. Uh, I got to apologize. I, I don't want the mechanism for the reduction. I need the reagents for the, uh, I don't even, I don't want to. MEC for dehydration only. MEC for dehydration only. So not the reduction. I, I hope you see there's two things going on there. NO2 becoming an H2. We got a lot of ways to do that. But before I do that, I should do the dehydration because that will make making this pi bond easier if there's an NO2 up there instead of an H2. It can resonate. So one, make the pi first. And that you can use a strong acid or a strong base. I use HCF and heat. Hi. Uh oh. I think, what? I don't know what's going on, people. Verify my age. Holy cow, it's getting serious. I created a monster. I'm gonna pause. Here we go. We're live. And coming back. I want the mechanism for the dehydration. I said I was gonna use HCl, and then I got asked a lot of personal questions. I don't know why. HCl and heat. That's the one we're gonna do the mechanism for. And give me a something that'll fit in this box and let me do the reduction. H2 and nickel's nice. H2 and PT's nice. Right there. Uh, I'm going to protonate that alcohol first, right? Oh, right through the number one. And then reds first. Got to get rid of the water. I got to grab an alpha H. Oh, by the way, this was an alpha H. Alpha H. How come? It's not one away from a carbonyl. It's one away from a nitronyl. Oh, yeah, how do you like that, nitronyl? So that makes it alpha. Uh, you got to remove another alpha, right? Cl minus is going to grab the uh, H. So where are we going with this? We're going to try to go with baby blue. HCl is going to generate Cl minus, which is a base that can be used for the dehydration step. And not crossing arrows is going to be a challenge. Oh, I'm going to cross a bond. I'm working on it. Need a navigator right there. Oh, but that's not the right color. <laughs> Anything that's not red. Here we go. At least I know how to draw the arrow. There you go. 
That was fun. We should be experts at these elimination reactions by now, shouldn't we? I hope. And that, that's all. I know. More writing than you thought I was going to make you do. H2 nickel. Oh, I think we chose the wrong chemicals for the reduction. Although you have a good argument. I never taught you that H2 and nickel reduces alkene. So you, you can pretend you know that until I say this right now. H2 and nickel will also reduce alkene. <laughs> so, so I need one that will reduce the nitro without reducing the alkene. Lithium aluminum hydride will not touch alkene. That's, that's about the only thing it doesn't touch. Alkenes and alkynes, because they're nonpolar. So I know I wanted the short the H2 nickel because it fits in my box, but it also reduced my alkene, which makes it the wrong choice. Okay, I need my whiteout eraser, surgical eraser. It's going to be a two three combo. L I A L H four. She says we already have the H two. Why don't you just add the lithium aluminum hydride with it? Uh, run. <laughs> if HCl reacts with lithium aluminum hydride, things will blow up. You can't have HCl around with, when lithium aluminum hydride's around. You got to finish the lithium aluminum hydride reaction and then add the HCl. I'm glad you brought it up. Two HCl. There you go. Will not reduce the alkene. Stop sharing. 